Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We've got our special guest with us this week. The detective. Hell yeah. yeah. So, guys, you hear there's a serial killer in Austin? Does he have a name yet? A moniker. It's the Rainy Street Ripper. Are you serious? Yeah, they, uh, what happened is, uh, there's, they found seven bodies have been recovered in the lake by Rainy Street in the last ten months. What? And, uh, they're all, I think they were all, like, gay men or something, like, or men in their 30s or something like that. And what they, what they say is that, you know, people get drunk, they go down to the water, they fall in. But then there's rumor swirling that it's like a serial killer, like, luring these people down there to kill them and throw them in the water. So, um, I've heard it talked about, like, on the radio a couple times and stuff. I don't know the legitimacy. It's probably all hearsay. Serious? That's nuts. So, wait, what, what is, what, I, got, I gotta know, like, how is he, how is he offing these people, man? I don't know, they're drowning in the lake, dude. If it's a he. Oh, yeah, it could be a she. What if she's know. luring them Never down know. there with her money? <laughs> She's luring them down there with yeah, Oprah so, money or Taylor Swift I cash. I mean, it, uh, so yeah, and it's not, it's, and they're not, it's like they're killing dudes, like middle aged men. Hmm. So, you know, that's insane. Good thing we're young bucks, so we don't have to worry about being murdered in Austin. Like, honestly, I, I got my blessings. There hasn't been like, uh, I don't know if they just don't receive like the publicity that they used to, but there has not been like a, a serial a major killer. serial killer in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Zodiac or that whole age of uh, yeah. well, back then, see, like you could like get away with crime for a really long time because oh, yeah, they didn't sure. have forensics. So mm -hmm. like, you kill one person now, they just arrest you. Yeah, they find you pretty quick now. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's all BS, but I thought it was an interesting story to bring up because we live here. So. Either way, that's still a lot of deaths to happen at a at a river. How many is that so far? It was seven and ten months. Oh, so I mean that's I mean that's a lot. That's a lot. That's one. I that's mean, like almost one on one, man. People that's don't crazy. just drown in the river for no reason. No, most people know how to like navigate short or shallow bodies yeah, of water. Yeah, seven is a lot. If it was two, I'd be like, oh, you know, like that. That's a rare. Yeah, maybe that happened, but like seven. It's a rare, but now we're assuming all these are connected, correct? Yeah, and they don't have any real other reason to think that, but, you know, mm. of course, people want to, like, and true, brother, true crime is addicting nowadays, dude. We want to become part of the story. This is true. exactly why we need to start giving uh, the park rangers guns. Why not? Because. And the teachers. <laughs> and the bartenders. Look, I'm 100% for And the, the homeless amendment. guys. Give them all guns, too. Everyone's got a gun. <laughs> Everybody should have a gun. <laughs> Oh my god. If you every, don't think that's true? If everyone had a gun, every single person. Yeah. Who are you gonna rob? <laughs> Who's gonna get shot? Everyone's every, always tense. Everyone would get shot. Nobody's getting shot. One thing pops off, it would just be like pop, 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 pop. Nah, pop. because guess what? You're not gonna be rude to people on the street because you know they got a gun. You know they strapped. You're not gonna be rude when you go to a bar because you know everybody's strapped. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna cut somebody off in traffic because you know what? Everybody strap. Everybody minds their p's and q's when you know what everybody has on the table. What are we gonna put a little uh, bumper sticker? I have a gun. I mean, if it's if it's known, <laughs> if like you, okay, new American plan, TNT dynamite. I'm president, 2024. Boom, our first day in Can office. We make first. Everyone What's that? Can we make everyone get face tats too? Uh, uh, that's not on the you, initiative. You as my vice president, you can lead that initiative. You okay. can spearhead that initiative. All right. Me, vi President Jonas, vice president, first day on the job. Boom. You come out of the womb, you get a pistol. And unloaded. Then, unloaded. And then you get into the tattoo chair and they put a little face tat of an AK underneath your eye. Uh, that's <laughs> Jonas's plan. I'm not a part of that one. I'm, I've got important things on my docket. You can Face I, tats are I, important. I, look, I will show up to your meetings, your dinners, your <laughs> fundraisers. I'll be there. My, my super packs? Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's you. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. My idea is to give these babies guns. All right, so look, you first you come out of the womb. Unloaded pistol, you have to you have to roll with that until you know you learn how to like walk. Is it like that so, movie where if they slap the football out of your hand, you get in trouble? Like if somebody <laughs> if somebody brings your gun back to your mom, I'm like I'm not gonna punish a child for dropping. Is this a rewrite of the second, or are you gonna eliminate the second, write a new one to then include? All right, out the womb, you are required to bear arms. Bull, love it, love it. 
Not the right to the privilege. The requirement. The require you have to. This is America. You get a you get a, a gun holster embedded into your thigh <laughs> at birth. Yeah. Look, China been making a joke for a long time. We've been sitting here with China making a joke. All Americans have guns. <laughs> they come out the womb, here's your gun. Yeah, that is what it's like now. Is now what, it's is like that what that. people in China is now like? what? Was that China or family guy? <laughs> Both. <laughs> it was, a, it was a Chinese thing. version of the family guy. Same thing if you ask me. Oh, Lord. You're going to tell me that the, the, the family guy guy, what's his name? Peter Griffin. Peter. No, not the guy who Seth McFarlane? Cartoons. Yes, him. You're going to tell me oh. Seth MacFarlane ain't in bed with China? He ain't in bed with oh, China? No. He worked for Fox. Fox yep. in bed with China. 100%. You're going to tell me Fox ain't in bed with China? Okay then, rest my case. Viacom. <laughs> now I'm just naming off companies. Yeah, you're all like <laughs> Endeavor. You're all like Maxwell House. Coffee. Meta. Evil Corp. Yeah. Yep. X Corp. Discord. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, speaking of people being murdered. Yeah. Did you guys see about the guy who created Cash App being murdered in the street? I heard. Yeah, I heard he, he got, got stabbed. Right. That's he got the, that's stabbed, and he was trying to get help, and people just like let him die. Like, he was, like, he was trying to get help, and they just, like, ignored him. Damn, man. How awful of a goddamn end of your life is that? Like, someone stabbed you. They found out it was, like, a rival tech bro in San Fran. Oh, they did was, find a Yeah, they arrested somebody. You're, you're riding in a car with him. He stabs you. Get You get out of the car, and you're, like, literally, like, you're, like, I'm fucking dying. And you're, like, somebody please help me. I'm dying. And everyone's just, like, later, bro. Wait, wait. <laughs> like, he, how he come just, he didn't use uh, Siri or Google to, hey, call 911. That's his problem. He's trusting the public rather than trusting his phone. He's That's where rich. everybody goes wrong. Normally, rich people don't trust the public. They're like, hey, who can I call to, uh, you know, do, do this thing for me? Okay. Well, morality check. If you saw a guy bleeding out coming towards you saying, help me, mister, what would you do? Would you help him? Would you run away, too? I would help him. Yeah, yeah I'd probably help him, too. What There's a look, good Samaritan law What if he looks shady, though? What do you mean, what if he's shady? What if he, like, has a gun? What if he has a and gun? He's, but he's bleeding out. Brother, I'm going to help you out. Okay. 100%. You always help the guy with the gun. The <laughs> guy with the gun bleeding out is going to be your best friend <laughs> when he gets better. Trust me. I'll tell him, drop the gun, and then I'll help you. Brother, keep the gun. What, are you going to do? Shoot me while I'm helping you? Oh, <laughs> now we both dead. What I would not be surprised. You got, no, <laughs> you got no impetus to shoot me if I'm trying to help you with, even when you <laughs> have a gun. Oh, no. Whether we're on the same team or not. I don't know. Like, what, what, do you, what do you mean? We're seeing that he got stabbed. He's like, maybe he wanted to use the gun. He didn't get a chance to. He's, hey, he wants to use the gun afterward. I'm he like, was, he, somebody brought I a knife to a gunfight. Okay. And obviously the knife won. He's pissed. He really just wants to shoot someone before he dies. Fair. So he shoots you. Okay. And you die. Yeah. And then someone else helps him and he lives. And okay. then he gets to win on both accounts. All he right. has a scar. He believes in humanity and you're dead. And he's already rich. And he's rich. He met a cash app. Wow, that's you know, man, there there definitely is a chance that that could be the case. That's what happened. No, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that, that there that chance, though it could be a possibility, probably ain't it. So I'm probably you, you definitely just, want to help that guy. You just shattered my dreams. I'm, I'm I apologize. But yeah, that poor guy, dude, he's stabbed and he's like wandering through the streets. It's uh, like I don't I don't know how to really say this. It's kind it's it's easier. Like you can handle this kind of like with a little with kid gloves because he is rich and it's punching up or whatever. But it is insane to me, like the the poeticism to the fact that you spent your life making so much money, and then you died and you couldn't get the poor the poor people on the street the everyday pedestrian people just living their lives to even give you the time you. of the day to exactly. call you know paramedics or something it's crazy like i swear there's like a bible story that is like this yeah, or aesop's it's fable like or something. it's like it's like it feels like that's like karma yeah it's very like it, it just reminds me of like uncle scrooge or some shit i don't know it's very very crazy it's like no matter how much money you make man you can still just your life can end I mean, just like Elon anybody Musk could get stabbed in the street tomorrow and fall over. His billions ain't yeah. keeping him alive. He got stabbed in the ribs. And then, in, in the in the end, you need you need somebody else's help, man. You need humanity. Where's his life alert button? It's life Where's alert. his life alert? Everyone Look, they, should just get a life alert. Rich people do have life alerts. There's rich there's rich people life alert. That definitely exists. Oh yeah, like they just have like emergency services. Yeah. Like yeah, so I'm in danger. And then, like, I mean, just says danger, danger, <laughs> danger. And then like the guys who beat up Jesse Smollett come out and they help him. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. Your boy? 
<laughs> oh boy. No, we right on me. call. 24-7 emergency team. <laughs> yeah. You come and help people who pretend to commit hate crimes on themselves. That's what they do. So, anyways, go to thechristown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and... The Detective. We out.